It's time to learn how to play Bandana. This is the 1959 inspired version in the key of A and the key of G. Like usual, throughout the video I'm going to show you the tab that I created, and at the end of the video you're going to see the tab. This is a long and complicated song, probably going to be the hardest one that I do this year. So it says, color corresponds to what chords is strum, and there's four chords we're going to strum. An A chord is red, D is pink, G is blue, and C is purple. And then below that it says arrows represent the direction to strum. A little V is down, a little carrot is up. So I'm only going to play through the A section and the G section, and I'm not going to show you the next portion because it's pretty much the same. So you could play it the same. I'll demonstrate how to do the A section after the G section when it repeats itself but I'm not gonna tab that out because there's no need to. So with the intro and the middle section, the part that goes like To start it, you're gonna start on an A chord and you're strumming down, up, down. And this is just at the start. Then you go to your G chord and you're strumming down, up, up, down. Then back to your A chord, strum down, up, up, down. G, A, G, and now for your A chord this time you're going to strum down, up, up, down, up, down. So the entire intro goes like this. Now we go into the instrumental. So only the strings that are necessary for the instrumental part are shown. So like the E, the A, and the D string are shown for the key of A, and then the E, the A, the D, and the G are shown for the key of G. I'm not showing the unnecessary strings because there's no need for them to be in there. So for the key of A section, we're gonna walk up to an A chord. So open E, two, four, open A. Then we're gonna walk up to a D, open A, two, four, open D. And you're hitting the second fret of the D string. Four, two on the A. Then open E, open A. Then you're walking up to your A chord, you're doing this twice. So open E string, two, four, open A, then you're repeating that. Then you're going two, four on the A, open D, second fret, four, two on the A. So here's what we just covered. open E and then the open A Then you're walking up to an A you're hitting the open A string twice walking up and then you're hitting 4 2 open on the D string walk back up it's 2 4 walk down walk up and then walk down. Then 4 2 on the A. And then that's where on the tab it drops to the next section. So from that walk up, we just did this. And then we're walking up to an A. So open E, 2 4, open A. 2 4 on the A. Open D, 2nd fret, 4-2 on the A, open E. 
and then it repeats the intro part so on and so forth so that entire key of a section goes like this i'll play it nice and slow Now we repeat the strumming, so you're hitting the open A and you're going to strum down, up, up, down, then go to your G, down, up, up, down, and we're going to repeat that a few times. And then when you jump to the key of G, you're going to hit your G, strum down, up, up, down, up. And then you jump to the key of G, you're hitting your third fret of the E string, strumming over a G chord, and you're strumming down once. There's going to be a lot of strumming in this section, so pay attention. Open D, two, open G, strum down, up, down. Then you're going to the third fret of the E string, playing over a G chord, you're going to hit that note, strum once down. And then you repeat that section again. Do it one more time. Strum once down. Second fret of the D string. Strum. Open D string. Strum. Second fret of the A string. Strum. And then third fret of the E string. Strum down, up up down and then you repeat that entire section again and here you're going to hit the third fret of the E string strum second fret of the A string strum and then we're going to walk up to a C chord. But before we do that, we're going to go over everything we just did because I know I spoke a lot and I didn't slow down. So transitioning from the A section into the G section, it goes like this. Now we go into the next part, going up to a C chord. You're hitting the third fret of the E string twice. Open A, second fret, third fret. Now we're in a C chord. You're going to hit this note, strum down once. Hit it again, strum. Second fret of the D string. Now you're going to repeat that. Repeat it once more. Now when you hit the second fret of the D string, you're going to strum down once. Third fret of the A string, strum. Now walk down to a G chord. Two, open on the A string. Third fret of the E string, strum down, up, down, over a G chord. Now your 2nd fret of the A string, strum once down. Then we're going to walk up to a D chord. And then before we do that, I'm going to show you what we just did. So walking up from the G chord.
second fret of the A string, third fret, open D string, we're playing over a D chord now, strum down up, up down, open D string, strum down once, open D string, third fret, First fret of the G string, still playing over D chord, strum down, up, up, down. Open D string, strum down once. Open D string, second fret. And now you're walking down again over a G chord like we did before. Open G string, strum down once. D string, second fret, down once. Open. Strum down once. Second fret of the A string, strum down once. And then third fret of the E string, strum down, up, up, down. Whew, that was a lot to learn in a short amount of time. So let's do that entire part again. So walking up to the C chord. So that's my basic explanation of how to play bandana. If that entire explanation was confusing, try looking at the tab, see if you can understand what I was basically trying to say. Come back to the video, maybe it'll make a little more sense. If the, if the entire explanation just made sense, great. So now I'm going to play everything that we just learned. I'm going to play it kind of slow, relatively up to speed though, and then I'll demonstrate kind of what the other a sectionals sound like but again it's not the other section is not tabbed out so just kind of watch how I do it so here we go <laughs> So on and so forth, it repeats the G section and then it ends on It just does that until the song fades out. So I realize we just covered a lot of material in a very short amount of time. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Look over the tab, it's still written out the same way as all my other tabs. Just know there's a lot of strumming and a lot of it is played over a certain chord. So like in the G section, a lot of it is being played over a G chord. <laughs> Some's over, some of it's over a C chord. So 
The important takeaway of this instrumental is that you need to know how to play the chords. It's not something where you, well, okay, you could just get away without strumming, but it wouldn't sound like the original. So you basically have to know how to play these chords. And remember, every time you play that A chord, make sure your pinky is on the fifth fret of the E string. And that's how Luther did it. So practice this, let me know what you think. At the end of the tab, it tells you some, uh, some recommendations that I have for amp settings, for the guitar to use, stuff like that, effects that you could use. But until next time, practice, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.